Hi you guys, I'm Belinda. Welcome to my studio. Don't forget to subscribe so I can show you some other videos I have in the works for you. I'm pretty excited about what's coming up. Today we're going to do a pretty straightforward project using transparent drafting film. Since this is somewhat sheer, I'm going to find a drawing in a sketch pad and then trace the drawing so that I can print it in multiples. Let's have a look. Find a drawing in your sketchbook that you would like to repeat in an edition. If you don't have a sketchbook, you can always use a photograph. I'm using a four by six inch piece of drafting film. The brand on this one is Duralar. I'm just tracing the drawing with pencil and then finishing the lines beyond the boundary of the actual drawing in the sketch pad. I'm not putting a lot of detail in because I'd like it to have a sketchy sort of a line drawing look when I print it and I'm just marking a couple of X's where I want my dark darks to be before I go in and start engraving and incising lines with an etching needle. This is a cork handled etching needle which I find comfortable in the hand but there are lots of varieties and if you look in the show more section underneath the video window I'll include links to three different flavors of engraving or etching needles. I'm cutting a piece of mat board to raise the printmaking plate a higher than it would be normally so that I don't have to tighten the press quite so much to get an impression. This will also give me a plate impression in the print which I like. You'll see what that looks like here in just a moment. The first print is called a proof print or an artist proof. I added more detail to the Duralar with the etching needle before pulling a second proof. The indentation in the paper is called a plate impression. I'm printing this using oil-based printmaking inks, which are also listed in the show more section beneath the video window. The ink is applied with a rolled piece of felt and the plate is supported by an old phone book. I'm using a piece of the phone book paper to hold the plate in place because the rubber gloves will leave an impression in the ink. A piece of starched cheesecloth or tarlatan is used to wipe the plate gently so that I leave ink inside the incised lines but clear most of the ink away from the surface of the drafting film. I'm using a cotton swab here to clear a little more ink and create some highlights. The drafting film I'm using is a matte finish, so it has a tiny bit of tooth which holds ink throughout the plate, so that would be referred to as plate tone. The cotton swab removes some of that to give just some gentle highlights. The inked and wiped drafting film is pressed against a piece of soaked and blotted printmaking paper and fed through the press. Now we have a sketchy little drawing ready for watercolor. I prefer to use watercolor or colored pencil on prints that I'm adding extra media to, but you can use anything you want on paper. Acrylic, oil pastel, chalk pastel, uh, watercolor crayons, whatever suits your fancy is totally appropriate to go over this. You can think of this as a sketch that is just waiting for you to try new media on since these are printed in multiples, you can make an addition as small or as large as you want and use different media on each one. It definitely encourages experimentation. The method of watercolor I'm using here is called glazing. I'm putting sheer layers of transparent color one on top of the other and as each one dries it gets lighter. Uh, the way watercolor does. So I add another layer and another layer until I have the opacity and the um, contrast that I'm looking for. I printed a small edition of three and painted all three dry points over the course of two days. I use this same method on a still life uh, a couple of days later and I'll be posting that video soon so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. This is a dry point engraving with watercolor and it's an edition of three and it's titled Cat Caught. If you make something using this method, please post a link to it in the comments below the video window so I can see what you've done and leave some encouraging comments. I've had a lot of questions about the cleanup of oil-based printmaking ink and the use of solvents and turpentine and paint thinner. So I wanted to show here that I don't use those. I use canola oil or any kind of cooking oil to break the ink down. 
you can see here that it works pretty quickly. It's very effective. And then once the ink has been thinned with the vegetable oil, I switch to another product that's called Citrosolve. It is an orange peel based uh, oil and I'll put a link to that in the show more section underneath the video window as well. The Citrosolve breaks the vegetable oil down and picks up any remaining ink on the plate and it smells like oranges which I think is a lot better than turpentine and paint thinner. Lysol disinfectant wipes work well to break down grease. So as a last step on most of the printmaking plates that I use, whether I'm using uh, oil-based ink or Akua soy and water-based inks, I use the Lysol wipe as the last step. If you roll your ink out on a glass sheet for relief printmaking and you've picked up all your ink and you have a little remaining, these Lysol wipes also work very well for picking up what remains of the ink after you've cleared the bulk of it away from your surface. Your working area can be contained within the space of a phone book and with a little bit of oil, Citrosolve and Lysol wipes, you can get rid of all of your mess uh, in one bundle of newsprint. So that was printing from a piece of drafting film. Pretty cool, huh? If you have any questions about that, leave those in the comments below. All those resources of everything I used in the video are also listed with links beneath the video window in the show more section. Uh, if you found this helpful at all, I would appreciate a thumbs up so that I have some feedback. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future videos I've got in the works for you. Thanks so much for spending time today, and I'll see you in the studio. Bye-bye.